what's inside a rear projection TV. As you can see, I took off the front panel. It's just a matter of popping it off and that's out of your way. Okay, with all those screws out, this should come right out. And I believe there's several layers to this. And in here is one of the layers that they use to make those sun burners. They set it up on a frame and direct the sun to a certain location. It gets extremely hot. So I'll be saving that for a later video. see several things. Um, obviously there's a mirror back here. It's a highly polished mirror. And then you have your three lenses here with your three different colors that goes up on the screen and reflects it onto your front screen. So you have your picture. These are really high powerful or um, pretty strong magnifying glass. So I'll be saving those as well. Each one of those for who knows what. The color is just not right anymore and it's kind of a double a double uh, image. So it's time to get right. rid of it. Now that is really a super powerful magnifying glass. So I'll be saving those. I think there's actually more than one. There's another one down in here. Um, another type of glass. But I'll be saving these because, yeah, there's one here, one up here. It's an adjustment of some sort. It slides. Oh, oh there we go. Now it definitely slides. So, yeah, it definitely adjusts. Oh, it comes right out. Alright, so that's just a plastic housing here. And you're still left with your lens. And those lens are dirty. At risk of damaging it. Wipe it off. Yes. Right here. Close to it. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's like adding a lens to my camera. Super duty lens, but I don't know if I can hold it still enough to get it focused. Back here in the light, and it looks like there's actually three lenses in there. There's one right here, one up here, and I can see something right there in the middle too. So I think there's three lenses. Oh, I got it. So basically, I hold it here where I can see. I know what's in the camera. Huh. This little tab right here was the problem, which I thought it was, but I ended up breaking it. It's a piece of metal. And now you can see this is going to be actually four lenses in there. One big one still over here. You can see. One here, one here, one there. So each one of these units has four different lenses in it. Pretty neat. Alright, well I got that open. Okay. Takes care of that plate. Nothing special. Let's see. Whoa! Okay. I'll tell you what's in there. <laughs> some sort of oil. So underneath these is some... Yeah, it's definitely an oil of some sort. Isn't that interesting? I had no idea. So be careful doing this. This TV is definitely junk now because I just opened this up and let a bunch of oil leak out. And basically it's just a red dome. So the color is here. I gotta find a way to clean those up, clean that out. I don't know. It's gotta be hooked into something at the other end. And it does come out. Find out. So, 
I think the best thing. And these things are kind of like miniature pitcher tubes by the looks of them. So they probably are vacuum sealed units. So you want to be careful with those. Okay, one more screw. Carefully hold the mirror. Now it's shaped the way it's shaped. As you can see, it's not square because when the image is reflected up onto it, it's at an angle and it squares it back off when it's reflected back to the back side of the screen. So that's why it's not square. That should be all of it. Okay, there it is. So yeah, that's what it looks like. And it is a mini TV vacuum tube right here. And then this one sends out the green colors. And again, this is where the oil is. I took the cap off the other one. There's actually oil in here, um, which is interesting. And uh, that's it. So it's three of these. And this is obviously some adjustments for uh, adjusting your image. So they're pretty complicated things and they were fantastic when they first came out they're great but they require as they get older they require a lot more maintenance to keep them running and with flat screen TVs and digital TVs and all this stuff these things are certainly becoming completely obsolete so really that's about it you got some electrical wiring and stuff in it you get your speakers and of course in the back you get all your component plug-in ports which are all wired into it. Essentially that is everything. Um, it's just a, a shell of glue and sawdust. The top part's plastic back here to help cut down on the weight. But as I said, the fun things will be these uh, magnifying glasses and that front screen to make a solar solar um, death ray, so to speak. But anyways, well, thanks for swinging by Shane's main shop. This really wasn't much of a special video, just getting rid of an old TV. I thought we'd see what was inside of it together. So thanks for swinging by. Please like, feel free to comment. So if you know anything about these things, and uh, share. And come back uh, often. I try to do new videos every week on a variety of topics. Thanks again. Have a great day.